And action! Hey, Raj. Hey, Raj. Hmm. <laughs> Twins. Looking good, looking good. Move in on Nick's room. Yeah, yeah, just right through the door. That's it, easy now, here we go. Hi, I'm Joe Damon, and I play Nick Martin. This is the soundstage where we film McGee. Uh -huh. McGee, what are you doing? Hey, I'm directing, of course. You directing? <laughs> it's in my contract. Now, if you don't mind, we've got a lot of work to do here. This I gotta see. Anyway, as I was saying... Uh, Joe, I need a little more enthusiasm. As I was saying, oh, we're here to review the first four shows of the McGee and Me series. In The Big Lie, our Bible verse was, never forget to be truthful and kind. Cute trick, McGee. <laughs> I got a million of them. Uh, I think it's time to show the first clip. Uh, well, oh, yeah. Uh, roll them! Remember, in The Big Lie, Nicholas, Nick wanted to Nicholas. make that big impression, and he sure did. man that knows no fear. Were there any animals? Yeah, there are animals everywhere, but... You I see, knew it! Did you see him eating any? Well, he had a rabbit. He had a rabbit? He was eating a rabbit? Well, it was alive, you know. He was eating a live rabbit? Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it was alive, whatever was left of it. This is incredible, man. And we all remember what happened next. Mr. Ravenhill became the victim of a half-truth that grew into a big lie. We saw how even a little lie about someone could hurt not only them, but could also hurt us, and even Jesus. Lying is a sin, and sin hurts our relationship with God and with others. Meanwhile, McGee was off in cartoon land learning the same lesson, except it took a baseball bat to get it through to him. Never forget to be truthful and kind. Oh, right. Sorry, McGee. Let's watch you be truthful. <laughs> All right, you hooligan. Out to the slammer with you. Nice work. There'll probably be a big reward in this for you. The star in the breaking, the theme was humility. McGee? Oh, Mr. Director? Uh, uh, McGee? Exactly. Uh, where are we? The verse that goes with the star in the breaking, remember? Oh, yeah. Some director. For everyone who tries to honor himself shall be humble, and he who humbles himself shall be honored. If you are invited to a wedding feast, don't always head for the best scene. <laughs> well, if someone more respected than you shows up, the host will bring him over to where you are sitting and say, let this man sit here instead. Uh, here? And you, embarrassed, will have to take whatever seat is left at the foot of the table. <laughs> Do this instead. Start at the foot of the table. And when your host sees you, he will come and say, Friend, we have a better place than this for you. Thus, you will be honored in front of all the other guests. For everyone who tries to honor himself shall be humbled, and he who humbles himself shall be honored. Nicholas Martin. An excellent drawing of yours truly won Nick the chance to be on trash TV. By lunchtime, he thought he was famous. Well, big stars need big cars. You're a celebrity now. You don't think all this attention's going to his head, do you? Nicholas? Not a chance. No question about it, Nick's head was growing with dreams of Hollywood. And he was always trying to hog the limelight. I'm the 
want to get on the show, okay? Not you, me. And I'll see what I can do. And maybe if you're lucky, I can... Hey, don't do me any favors. Me neither. Have it your way. Yep, Nick had it all. Fame, fortune, flour, <laughs> and chocolate pudding, which is my personal favorite. Okay, okay, McGee. But remember, for everyone who tries to honor himself shall be humbled, and he who humbles himself shall be honored. Show three, The Not-So-Great Escape, was about keeping our lives and our minds pure, which is sometimes pretty tough to do. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and... Right? <clears throat> McGee. Uh, sorry, I never was too good at spelling. Hey, check it out. Night of the Blood Freaks, part four. Starts tomorrow. First, there was Dawn of the Blood Freaks. Think your mom and dad will let you out of the house? Then, Day of the Blood Freaks. I can handle my folks, no sweat. Then, Twilight! Absolutely not. But now, as the shadows begin to fall... No way. It's Night of the Blood Freaks! <laughs> That's how Nick acts when he's had too much sugar. He was determined, even if it meant disobeying his parents. No, oh, I hate this part. Me too. Fixing your thoughts on what is true and good and right beats this any day. Did you go to the movies? Yes, sir. Did you enjoy yourself? No, it was awful. Of course, you've made some pretty dumb choices yourself, McGee. See and hear all the doctor's sights and sounds. Yeah, sometimes the bad stuff looks like fun, but it's always trouble. Be a new and different person. Fix your thoughts on what is true and good and right. Dwell on the fine good things, for whoever keeps doing the will of God will live forever. Show four, Skate Expectations, was a blast for me because I love skateboarding. We kind of updated the story of the Good Samaritan. Let us not get tired of doing what is right. Gee, what are you doing now? <laughs> I was just helping the kid in the back row see better. <laughs> Remember Philip, the kid Derek wouldn't leave alone? Oh, I can't look. It was a tough decision to help Philip out. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes. Getting involved in other people's lives can make life interesting for everybody involved. The fun just started, nerd. Get out of here. But a despised Samaritan came along, and when he saw him, he felt deep pity. <coughs> Kneeling beside him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with medicine and bandaged them. Then, he put the man on his donkey. He walked along beside him. Until they came to an inn. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two $20 bills and told him to take care of the man. If his bills run higher than that, he said, I'll pay the difference next time I'm here. Now Jesus asked, Which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the bandit's victim? 
The man replied, the one who showed him some pity. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Hey, Derek, I want to talk to you. I want to settle this thing between you and Philip. All right, you're on. After school at the flagpole. N no, not a fight, a race. This Saturday, skateboard to skateboard. And if you lose, you lay off of Philip. On your mark. Ready to die? Get set! if you didn't really win the race. Right, but the lesson in show four was, let us not get tired of doing what is right. Thanks. Anytime. Well, it's been kind of fun reviewing the first four shows, seeing how God says we should live and having some fun while we're doing it. <laughs> That's obviously why they hired me. Well, Mr. Director, looks like your time is up. They're ready to film Sarah on the living room set, and we got a rehearsal to go to. Yeah, just when it was getting good. I was really on a roll, too. Yeah, some real roll. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that the girl who plays my sister has the same last name as me? That's right. She's my big sister in real life, too. She's on the living room set on the other side of the soundstage. Hey, Sarah, are you ready? Thanks, Joe. Hi. As Joe mentioned, I'm Sarah Damon, and this is our home away from home. It's been fun playing the big sister. I guess I've had enough practice. McGee and me episodes usually start with Nicholas reading from his Bible. That's where it all begins for us, too. If we really want to learn what God says about how we should act and live, we need to read the Bible. I hope our shows have encouraged you to read yours, not just when a teacher gives you an assignment, but as a regular habit, like brushing your teeth. Hopefully that's a habit. <laughs> Psalms 119, verse 105 says... Your words are a flashlight to light the path ahead of me and keep me from stumbling. We also learn about Jesus when we read the Bible. That's very important because the Bible says that all of us are separated from God by our sins, the wrong things we've said and thought and done. The good news is that God sent his son Jesus into the world to make it possible for our sins to be forgiven. Jesus Christ took the punishment we deserve when he died on the cross for us. That's how much God loves us. If we'll truly believe this, God says in his word that he will remove the sins that separate us from him and let us become part of his family, called Christians. If you have any questions about what it means to be a Christian, I'm sure one of your leaders or teachers will be happy to answer them. After all, they're the ones who cared enough about you to organize this whole event. Okay, now you can join them in singing the McGee Chorus. If you've been here for the first few sessions, you probably already know it. Let's go! Some kid in the back missed the B-flat. Otherwise, it was quite nice. Hey, it's been fun. Thanks for joining us. And keep watching. More shows are on the way. Come on, let's go, McGee. Okay. Hey, that's a wrap, you guys. I always want to say that. Be together forever for you see, McGee.